Remember those childhood days when we used to fight with our siblings for those handheld games? Now the device we have today will take us back to those good old days with its design and form factor. Well, my name is Param and today we are going to talk about the ASUS ROG Ally, a Nintendo-like super powerful device from ASUS. Let's talk about the design first. So the look, feel and attention to design details are really good. I personally am a big fan of ROG when it comes to the design and innovation part. Up front we have this catchy display, the ROG badging at the bottom, the Xbox-like YBX buttons on the right with a joystick and another joystick on the left with a D-pad. Well these joysticks have RGBs which can be customized as well. So here are those diagonally embossed front firing speakers which is powered by Dolby Atmos and sound pretty decent. The keys are easily reachable and ideally placed for those who are habituated to the Xbox controllers. So there are a few more buttons in the front like this one which launches the command center and can be used to adjust the brightness, the sound, the performance and a lot more. And this button right here will let you access the armory crate, an app developed by ASUS to store all your games in one place. Another keys can be used while gaming like an escape key and open the things like inventory. So on the top we have RTB LDB triggers, a power key which works as a fingerprint scanner as well, volume buttons, IO ports, a 3.5 mm audio jack and a micro SD slot. So here the ROG logo which doubles up as an air vent, a cool looking multicolor strip on the back which adds up to the overall design. So overall design is very grippy with 608 grams of weight which is evenly distributed. So now if we talk about the screen which is 7 inch IPS Gorilla Glass Victor's touch screen which is full HD and has a 120Hz of refresh rate with 500 nits of brightness. The screen gives a pleasant gaming experience and watching videos will be a little bit better experience than the cell phones. But it is a wee bit bigger than the phones so not really a revolutionary upgrade. The bezels here could have been a little thinner. So now let's talk performance. Ally really has some serious specs crammed into this small chassis. It can run almost every high-end games without any hiccups. Now this comes with AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme 4nm Zen 4 processor with 8 cores and 16 threads. The CPU clocks up to 5.1 GHz. Additionally, it has a 4 GB Radeon RDNA 3 integrated graphics. Powered by Windows 11, ROG Ally has 16 GB LPDDR5 RAM. With 512 GB NVMe SSD, the storage is expandable as it has a micro SD slot up front, which makes things even better. So is it a phone, a laptop or a tab? Honestly, it's a mix of all these things. ASUS deserves all the praise for pulling off such a launch. Good or bad, that is subjective. But to play AAA rated games in this portable device will really be something. So you can install games from Steam, Xbox and EA etc etc. However, you may find the Windows UI a little bit irritating. Considering the size of the screen, the UI should have been customized for better user experience. So not only a car, but also this device comes with three performance modes, which you can toggle according to your performance needs the silent, the performance and the turbo. So we played games like NFS Heat, Battlefield 5 and Forza in performance mode and this device really performs well. Well in terms of GPU squeezing games like Battlefield 5 and Forza, I experienced a few lags here and there. But if you adjust the graphic settings a little below the maximum, you will experience a good performance. You can easily control the resolution and FPS limiters via command center. When we set those settings at 720p, the performance was extraordinary. So adding on to it, this device can run apps like Adobe Premiere Pro and Photoshop. But it will fall behind on the apps like Adobe After Effects and 3ds Max. Furthermore, you can add an external screen to enhance your video watching experience. Now ASUS and AMD must have put a lot of effort in designing this unbeatable combo of AMD processor and integrated graphics, which now they are calling APU accelerated processing unit. So in layman's language, APU is just a combination of CPU and GPU. Now talking about the battery life. 
While chasing the performance and portability, Asus had to compromise on the battery size. This ROG Ally is packed up with a 40 watt hour battery and comes with a 65 watt adapter, which by the way only lasts for around an hour at turbo performance mode. But in silent mode, it can last up to around 3-4 hours. So you have to carry the charger while on the go to enjoy some uninterrupted gaming. Well, priced at Rs 69,990, this device is really interesting. The experience is good, but from the perspective of gaming console, the Windows UI experience could have been better. Considering the size of the screen, the UI should have been customized for better experience. At this price point, the battery life of this product is not quite satisfactory. However, if you are always on the go, this device will surely entice you. So what do you think about this device? Do let us know in the comment section. And before you go and play another round of Valorant, do follow the Economic Times for more such videos.